Hello everyone. Welcome. Here I have some of my new baby chicks. You can see them better, I guess right here. I have I have five of them. Stay. So they keep pooping on me. This is like an issue. But they are just So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be drawing their grown-up version. These are ja Japanese bantam chickens, uh, and they're naturally very, very small. I have five of them. Uh, I have like three different colors. I have one black one. I have two white ones, and two that I still don't quite know what they're going to be when they are grown up. Um, but they're all the same kind of chicken, just different colors. So, I wonder if they would be good and actually stay, stay in my hair. Um, sometimes they do that, like they really like to stay in your hair. So I don't know, because they think it's like a mommy's wing. Um, tonight what we're doing is we're putting them underneath my other chicken that is broody. Which means that that chicken wants to have babies. And she's been sitting on a nest that's unfertilized for a couple weeks now. And then we finally got some baby chicks delivered. So we can give her some babies. Um. Put them down just for a second. Okay. And one of them has been super loud recently. I think it's this one right here. Yep. We think this one might be a rooster. We don't actually know what sex they are. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Don't, just let me pick you up. Okay, I'm gonna put them in my, in my hair. Oh, are you going to stay? Are going to be good? They might not. They might be bad. Maybe just one. Or two. I don't know. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> okay. I have chickens in my hair, which is not unlike me by any means. Just they are so small. I don't want to drop them. Okay, stay. I think they'll be good. Because they really like being underneath. It's kind of comforting to them. Okay. Oh, they're making me so nervous. Okay. So these chickens are very beautiful. They have like quite a interesting shape to them. See, look. Shh. Shh. Am I choppy? I don't know what to do about that. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Hello, mocap. I have baby chickens in my hair right now. It's a little bit ridiculous. Not even kidding. Okay, stay back there. Stay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start drawing a little bit. Um, let's see. So they have this like, they have like these really, really small heads. It's probably too big. 
what I'm doing. So these really small heads. And they have this beautiful curve to them. I feel like they're just like pooping in my hair. I feel like I don't really care that much. I'll take a shower. See, look how calm they are now. They're so calm compared to when I put them in there. Oh, now I speak and they're talking. It's okay, you guys. So anyways, what I was trying to show you is that they have this beautiful kind of shaped them. Which I'm not sure you can see on camera yet. Not quite yet. And they're also like very low to the ground. Oh, this one. Hello. Hello in the Twitch chat. Get a different one. I have another one in my hair right now too. Oh dear lord. Come here. Come here. Okay, say goodbye. I'm gonna switch you guys out. Say goodbye. Okay. And these are two others. Sorry, anxious. I'm mostly doing stuff for the Twitch stream. But uh, here are my other little babies. I know they're going to poop on me. They already ruined a piece of paper. Okay. They're going to go up here in my hair. Good chicken. Okay. They are the cutest things, and they are like super small. I swear. Okay. Eee. <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stay. Go like under my hair, not in my hair. There you go, babe. There you go. Okay. This is like my favorite thing right now. Chickens plus drawing. Okay. Okay. I get ya. Okay. Alright, back to the drawing. If I can. See? I'm gonna lose them. They're gonna like come out. right in my ear. So loud, little baby. Okay. I think what I'm going to do now is do some light ink washes. I'm just doing a little bit right here. This will dry even lighter than it's going on right now. I feel like, okay. What are you doing? I don't know. You being good? You being good? Okay, go back. Oh, 
my god. Guys, this is terrible. Don't! Don't fall. You're okay. I think I'm just gonna hold one. Okay. Tonight, they're getting some real parents. We have two, um, we have two chickens that are broody that want to have babies. So we're basically gonna, um, slip them under in the night. Are you cold? Are you cold, honey? I'll put you back. My hair is chirping. Yes, it is. <laughs> I have no baby chicks in my hair anymore. I probably will in a minute, but they're getting cold. So now I'm just going to focus on drawing a bit. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go in with the black of the tail feathers. The tails on these kinds of chickens, these Japanese chickens, are uh, usually black. Like the main variety is that they're white. <clears throat> they have a white body and then they have a black tail. And the black tails are just so beautiful. So I'm just going to get this wet. And then I'm going to put in some more black. Uh, and let it kind of run and be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more loose. And sometimes you have a little bit of black on the tip like that. Okay. While that next layer is drying, I'm going to get some red ready for the comb. And all I'm really doing is adding some water to my palette here. And just to let it 
make it pre-ready for the color to come off. Um, here's one of my chickens. I really only get to play with them like today, you guys, so this is why I'm doing this. Because tomorrow, they'll have a mommy that does not want humans to be messing with them, so. Oh my gosh. You tried to draw a chicken once, but it looked like a feather duster in the end. At least it looked like feathers. I mean, feathers are kind of a difficult texture. little comb for them. So cute. So cute. I think this is a rose comb variation. I'm not really sure. But they roughly look like that on top of the head and they have like the little waddle things over here so it's pretty nice oh no then i'm going to go in with another layer of black and make sure that this is kind of standing out how i want it to No, you could not have used it to dust your bunnies. It's funny. Kind of cute. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit more shading to my chicken, but kind of keeping it loose like that. And I did it again. I should wait longer. That looks cool though. Oops. Okay. I'm going to do this little foot area right here real quick and then I'm going to take out another chicken to play with.
There's the little black one again. It's so cute. It's the cutest. Okay. Here we are. Please don't poop on your drawing here. It's just the cutest little thing. Like that, look at this little belly. Shh, you're okay. So cute. <laughs> Isn't it the most adorable thing? Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a yellow ready. Okay. Gonna get a yellow ready for the beak. Yourself. Yes, I am wearing chickens. I'm glad someone someone noticed that. This is actually like my favorite shirt. Chicken shirt. in my hair. Stay. Thank you. I like my chicken too. So many chickens. Chickenception. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. I'm gonna do I think a little blue wash in the background.
getting really loud. I think that is enough for this drawing in particular. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go, after making this one chicken drawing, let's see if I can make it so you can actually see the drawing. The shadow's been changing since it's sunset right now. It's a little bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. If you have baby chick name suggestions, please let me know. Uh, I have five of them, and hopefully they are all female, but probably half of them will be will be male and will have to go away. But um, anyways, I had fun drawing chickens with chickens. Um, and yeah, please subscribe to at kdarbyart on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.